All right, so uh, I am going to be vlogging uh, my day today. Uh, I am on my way. I was invited to speak uh, to a classroom at an elementary school. I'm gonna film some episodes and then have some uh, meetings later on this evening. So let's go, this is gonna be a lot of fun, come on. We just got done at the elementary school. Okay, so we are headed uh, to downtown. Uh, my friend Skyler Irvine is having a meetup. Uh, he is an incredible business owner. He's a CEO of Rensler Media. He has uh, an incredible podcast, the Skyler Irvine Show. I'm gonna tag him. Exciting day today. In between, you know, we have phone calls. Hey, what's up, Doreen? It's me, Steve. Hi, how are you? Doing well. All right, so we're in downtown Phoenix. I am pulling up here to the meetup here uh, with my buddy Skyler. Okay, it's Phoenix Startup Week. So Startup Week uh, is a week uh, that is geared uh, for entrepreneurs, tech, uh, people and so on that are starting businesses. I love downtown Phoenix. Look at this. Over there is the Back to the Future car. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, look at this. We are at Phoenix Startup Week, and Skyler from the Skyler Irvine Show uh, is is here hanging out. Media guru, all things media. Super excited. So anyway, he's having a hangout here. Over here is his crew. If you have not subscribed to his podcast, I am gonna link his stuff. What are you doing? You down subscribe? below. Uh, it's it's amazing. What is your favorite? podcast um mine obviously well yeah. <laughs> true, but, true but in truth i i'm really really excited because the i mean not a plug but the red bull booth talks is kind of what we did the last um, yeah. three four episodes goes up today yeah. that format was a lot of fun just that format having that discussion so as far as the podcast goes that was something that we'll definitely double down on and recreate okay how would you describe uh your podcast what's it about in general in general, it's about me sitting down with people that are doing cool things. True. Uh, when I began awesome it, it was yeah. um, people that were making money about something they were passionate about in creative ways. So it was everything from Instagram influencers, um, full-time YouTubers. Um, we had a lawyer on who crushed her business because really? she was already putting yeah, a YouTube awesome. video out. Wow. Um, we've had some like online comedian like JP Sears who was um, yeah. he does yeah. these viral videos. Um, and everyone that's doing like traditional real estate, like traditional businesses like real estate, um, but how are they doing it differently? Facebook Live, for example, doing YouTube, for example, telling those stories of how you can create the business you want to create with creative marketing strategies, and it doesn't always have to be the traditional way. Those are the guests that I have on, and those are the topics that we kind of discuss most of the time. It's awesome, man. Skyler. Cool, man. Appreciate you. Awesome Thanks for coming you look yeah. sharp. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed that hallway with Martha Luther King Jr., one of my favorite people in American history, revolutionized culture, and uh, really shaped American history. One of my favorite quotes he says is, if you can't fly, you run. If you can't run, you walk. If you can't walk, you crawl. But whatever you have to do, you have to keep moving forward. And I absolutely love that simply because he was a man that was committed to never give up on the dream in his heart. Love it. I honor you, MLK. Let's row. I did see something interesting uh, uh, in the comments uh, of some lenders saying, hey, I pre-qualified someone, you know, uh, uh, with a 500 credit score I saw, and this other real estate agent says, you know, my lender uh, qualified someone with a 505 credit score. I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't know if that excites me or it makes me sad, actually. And uh, simply because uh, I am a big picture 
type of guy and I say that in the sense that um, if someone has a 500 credit score there's a bigger issue uh, in their financial personal life than trying to turn the world upside down to get a home loan uh, with the 500 credit score I mean there's some serious stuff there uh, uh, you really have to be in collections debts bankruptcies who knows what else uh, to honestly have a score that low you don't get that low simply by making a few late payments uh, there's a bigger issue and so you know I just I think about this you know as a real estate agent I don't just want to get people into houses at all costs and and when a house should be a dream it becomes a nightmare because everything increases uh, when it comes to your expenses uh, when you purchase a house what do you guys think I just really want the best for people hey I am going to go to war for my client right now. That's what it's all about. That's what they hire you for. Exactly. All right. I will uh, let you know the outcome, okay? All right, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. It's war time. Gotta go. Fight for my clients. No one messes with my clients. We'll see where it goes. All right, back in the office. What a day, filming episodes, networking, speaking in elementary schools, just giving back uh, uh, to people. Absolute love, incredible. I'm gonna sit down here and get some houses ready because guess what I'm doing this afternoon? Showing houses. We'll see you later.